Hey everyone, how you doing? Happy St. Paddy's Day. Well, it's we're leading into it. It's St. Paddy's weekend, day weekend. It's uh, it's still Saturday. It's 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 not the the 16th yet. Is it the 16th of St. Paddy's Day? Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, it's it is the 16th. The 17th is St. Paddy's Day. Sorry about that. Anyways, what the heck, right? I'm gonna do a quick beer review. I'm casting tonight, Saturday night, but I'm going to do a quick beer review before I start. I don't think I've done this before, but if I have, I'll just trash it. Um, quickly now, just pick this up this evening. Let's pull it back there, pull it back out of the shot a little bit. Okay, so, got another Innocent Gun beer here. Innocent Gun. Irish. Whiskey cask. What do you think of that? Okay, it's an oak aged beer. Uh, Scottish stout, matured in rare Irish whiskey barrels. Handcrafted Scottish beer. And it's been carefully matured for 60 days. That should make it pretty interesting. This award winning bottled bottling of Innocent Gun is backed for a second year following its uh, running success in 2012. The beer has been aged in rare oak barrels, which were previously used to mature one of the great. Uh, triple distilled Irish whiskies. The result of this unique m maturation is a big, uh, full flavored beer with a, an unexpectedly warming finish. We really hope you're going to like it. It's 7.4% alcohol by Valium, by Valium, and it's 30 mils. Let's get this sucker cracked up and get, get a taste on it. Got some Guinness in the fridge. Gonna have some Guinness later. Whoa, don't break my glass now. This one wasn't overly expensive expensive for for an innocent gun. It was only four something. A little over four dollars. Nice. Nice pour. Didn't quite get a cake, but that's fine. I don't think I've done this one. I hope I haven't. <laughs> I'll get this goofy hat on. Is well. It's just it's a bit of a goofy hat. <laughs> there, maybe we'll go backwards. No, that's worse. Oh well, <laughs> I don't care. Sniff. Have a sniff. Mmm, nice. Mmm. Well, first of all, I mean, it doesn't, it's not completely well, opaque, I guess. You can slightly see through it. I haven't done the, uh, the light thing in a long time, but I think you can slightly see through it. Yeah, see up on top there, yeah. It's not completely opaque, but it's um it is pretty dark and got a bit of a tanned head on it but it does have that roasted sort of a caramel scent to it aroma scent to the aroma yeah yeah it does yeah the nice uh is i can smell caramel i can smell roast pretty much uh you know it pretty much has the uh the the, the nice stout aroma to it Go ahead and have a quick taste. Well, it has every bit of a stout flavor to it. It's, um, it seems a little on the thin side. I don't know. Uh, stouts are usually, well, I don't know. But that's uh, that's not bad. It's um, it quite, it's quite asking. You know what? It, it tastes a little bit like my Craig Two Porter. <laughs> it's got the same kind of bitterness in it. I don't know what kind of hops they use in this one, but it's just not. It's just not as thick as the porter. Yeah. So it does have. It, it's got a lot of caramel flavor to it. It's got. A, it's got quite a bit of bitterness to it. Um, not exactly sure what what what, kind, what type of hops the bitterness would be coming from, but it's it is nice. Um, as far as getting getting a, a taste of, of of something from the whiskey casks, uh, it's it's faint. Like you really have to dig in uh, to get that a flavor of the whiskey cask. Uh, other than that, I mean, it, it has it has quite a bit of sweetness, quite a bit of caramel, and quite a bit of hop flavoring in it. 
and it's quite nice. It's it is quite nice though. I mean, I can't. Yeah, you know, certainly can't say this is a bad beer because this is pretty damn good. It's very very good. It goes down quite smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Don't know what else to say about it, but it's a nice beer. It's not. It's. It, 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 as far as calling it a stout, it, it kind of seems to be missing something as far as the stout is concerned. It's more like a, it's more like sort of, sort of balancing, uh, teetering between a porter and a stout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kind of teetering between the two of them. But anyways, uh, you know, I'd easily give that a generous four out of five in my opinion. That's about where I'd set it at. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it very much. Gonna do a couple more reviews later on tonight. Gonna review the uh, the Maximus from Lagunatis, Lagun Lagunitas, and um, also a uh, an Irish beer, another Irish beer from Dublin or Dublin, Ireland, uh, the Hophead one. Cheers in it in seventeen. Keep your mugs full. See you later.